Hey, cool kids, welcome back to the Cool Kids Campus. It's time for story time with Carrie. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Cool Kids Campus where we're going to have lots of fun videos for kids. A Day at the Apple Orchard by Megan Faulkner and Adam Krawieski. It's a sunny day in early fall. Perfect for apple picking. Before we go into the orchard, we learn how apples are grown. It takes many months for them to grow and ripen. Just like all living things, apples need the right amount of rain and sun to be healthy. The life of an apple begins in spring. During the winter months, the tree doesn't grow or change. This stage is called dormancy. Warm weather awakens the tree and it begins a new cycle of growth. Leaves push out from the tiny buds. Five petal blossoms grow in beautiful shades of pink and white. Apple farmers set up beehives in the orchard. When a honeybee lands on an apple blossom, it sips the sweet nectar. Tiny grains of pollen stick to its legs. As the bee flies from flower to flower, the pollen it carries fertilizes the blossoms. This is called pollination. As spring turns into summer, the flower petals fall from the trees. On the branches, ovaries begin to grow. They will become apples. All summer long, the apples get bigger and bigger. As autumn approaches, the apples start to ripen. They turn from green to red. Some types of apples, like Granny Smith, stay green. Others, such as Golden Delicious, turn yellow. By late summer or early fall, the apples are fully ripened. It's harvest time. We pick up our baskets and get ready for a tractor ride. The tractor takes us into the orchard. We're picking empire apples today because they are the ripest. Before we start, we learn the best way to pick an apple. Instead of pulling it off the tree, we must turn the eye, the bottom, to the sky and tug gently. We want to make sure that the bud is not damaged for next year. It's time to start picking. Apples bruise easily, so we place them very gently into the basket. While we are picking, we see wire guards at the bottom of the trees. We aren't the only ones who like apples. Apple farmers must safeguard the trees from hungry creatures such as rabbits, rodents, and insects. Our baskets are full. It's time to head back to the farm. Now we sample the apples. Crisp and delicious. Next, we see how apple juice and cider are made with an old-fashioned hand press. First, the apples are put in the press. Then, we turn the crank. The cider comes out the bottom. Then, we have a taste test. It's 
been so much fun learning about apples. We can't wait to come back next year. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up! And don't forget to subscribe to the Cool Kids Campus for more stories, learning, and fun!